But guess what? You're going to learn this from the people who trying to teach you who you are. That's right. You the Israelites. That's right. You was not sent to this earth to play basketball. What you going to do if the white man come right here and turn this whole court down? What we going to do now? We going to be right back to shooting each other down. It's time for our people to wake up, man. Bring, bring it out, up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, in verse 13. Bring it out. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as his people draw near to me with their mouth. So hold on, they draw near him, they draw near him with what? With their mouth. Because everybody, I better we ask everybody out here. We say you love God. Guess what everybody gonna say? I love God. Everybody swear they love God, but ain't nobody trying to give God some of their time. The Bible coming out, folks smoking weed. But everybody love God though. Right. Everybody love God out here. God, guess what? God know our people. God know y'all though. What he say? What he say? For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth. God said his people ain't nothing but a bunch of mouth. God said his people ain't nothing but a bunch of mouth. They say I love God, but they in church on Sunday. They say I love God, but ain't nobody came over here yet. To, on their own to hear the word of God. Ain't nobody came over here yet on their own to hear the word of God. But guess when we want to hear the word of God? Hold that. Give me Hosea 5.15. You don't out. want to hear it right now. But guess what? Guess when you want to hear the word of God, though? When Lil Ray Ray just got shot down. Right. When Lil Ray Ray gets shot down, guess what? You're going to remember that the Israelites was out here. That's right. You're going to remember these men that probably God was trying to teach you who you are. The people, the people, the people in the school, they ain't gonna teach your kids this. Read the book of Hosea, chapter five and verse fifteen. Read. I will go and return to my place. God said He gonna go and return to His place. Why you think we getting shot down every day? Why you think your prayers ain't getting answered? I know a lot of y'all. A lot of I know. Hey, come on, this the hood. We know how our people going through it. We from the hood. That's why we out here. We commanded to come to the hood. He said he going to go and return to his place. Read. I will go and return to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. God said he going to return to his place. We Till they acknowledge their offense. God said he going to return to his place. Meaning he, gonna, he ain't going to answer your prayers until you say, look, God, look, I'm offending you. Until you say you breaking God's laws. Until you turn back to this Bible. And understand, we've been living wrong our whole life. We was brought up wrong. Read. I will go and return to my place. Read. To they acknowledge their offense. Read. And seek my faith. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In what? In their affliction. Guess what? When, some, when you about to get shot down, when you finna go to jail, when you finna go to jail, when you finna get shot down, when somebody just shot your mama, when your mama in the hospital finna have a heart attack, what they gonna do? They will seek me early. Then you gonna be trying to hear the Bible in. When somebody in your family finna get shot down, when somebody just got counseled, when you find out you, you got counseled, then you gonna be trying to hear the word of God in. Read. Read that again. Their affliction what? In their affliction. They will seek me early. So guess what? In your affliction, that's when our people going to be trying to seek God early. Go to um, Isaiah 50, 59. 59 and 1. We out here trying to get, we out here trying to show, y show our people a better way. We telling you, you've been lied to all your life. That's why when we come out here teaching, guess what is new? Because they have been teaching, they read that. Isaiah 59 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, in verse 1. Read. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot say. So guess what? When somebody about to gun you down, don't say, God, why you let this happen? God can save you if he want to. He can save you from death if he want to. Read. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. He can hear your prayers if he want to. He can hear you if he want to, but what? But your iniquity. But your what? But your iniquity. But your what? Your iniquity. Because we keep smoking weed. Because we shooting each other down. Because we keep fighting. Because we hating one another. What happened? Have separated between you and your God. That he won't do what? And your sins have hid his face from you really? that he will not hear. That's why he ain't hearing your prayers. Because you keep seeing it. That's why he ain't hearing your prayers. Everybody, I, I, I guarantee you, 
two, two thirds out of y'all that said, man, why my prayers don't get answered? Read that again. Because your sin is what? But your iniquities have have separated between you and your God. Read. And your sin. And your what? And your sin. And your what? Hey, hey, y'all, hey. Brothers right here. Right here, brothers right here. This walking up. You ever ask why your prayers don't get answered, bro? Watch this. Read that. Read it loud so they can hear. And your sins have hid his face from you. So your sins hid. Your sins have hid your face from your God. That's what y'all don't understand. Go to Isaiah 29 and 13. That's why it's going to constantly, we're going to have to constantly worry about our kids getting shot down because we don't want to hear the Bible. We out here with the solution. But then once you run it because somebody got that chopper to you, then you like, oh, God, please help me. When you shot somebody, when them folks about to come lock you up, you like, oh, God, please help me. When right. the police behind you because you got dope in your car, guess you like this, oh, God, please help me. But guess what? The men of the Lord out here right now, who going to come listen to the Bible? Who going to come learn who they are right now? Who going to come get this history that's coming out the Bible? Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Read. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth read. and with their lips do honor me. So our people, they honor God with their lips, but read. But have removed their heart far from me. But guess what? Our people mind, our people mind is way far from God. Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. The understanding of this Bible, guess who it was taught by? It was taught by your slave master. The understanding of this Bible was taught by your slave master. Bring it out, huh? You ever heard of the Willie Lynch letter? You ever heard of that? What he's saying, start the word of God in them. They taught you everything you know. Everything you know about this Bible. They taught you that Christ came for everybody. Give me that Matthew 15 and 24. Bring it out. The Bible said, the understanding of this Bible, it was taught by your slave master. That's why we, when we heard it, that's why when we heard the Bible, we don't even take it serious no more. Because we've been lying to way too long. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Read, read it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why do you think we are here? Christ said, what Christ say? I am not fit, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Guess what? We, we, that's why we come out here. That's why we only coming to y'all, because y'all are the lost sheep. That's right. We ask some everybody out here, what, what they teach you in school? Nobody said they Israel. Why you think the Bible call you lost? Go to Isaiah 1. Isaiah 1 and 3. That's why, that's why God called us lost. That's how you know the Bible talking about us. Because you at the white man, his origin, guess what we going to say? I'm Irish. Never I'm Greek. Bring it out, I'm The Japanese and the Chinese man even know that it's a difference between them. That's right. Call the Japanese man a Chinese. Guess what we going to say? I ain't Japanese. I'm Chinese. Call the, Japan, call the Chinese man Japanese. He going to say, guess what? I ain't Japanese. I'm Chinese. I ain't, or, 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 the, or vice versa. I ain't Chinese, I'm Japanese. But you ask us, we say I'm African. Don't you know it's white people in Africa? You telling me they African too? Don't you know it's black people in Europe? So why is we labeling people by um, by these countries? We look at all white people as Europeans. No, they the Edomites. That's right. We look, we look at us as Africans. No, we the Israelites. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The ox... Know it, his owner. So if an ox was out here, the Bible said the ox know his owner. If an ox could talk and you could ask that ox, but where you come from, the ox will tell you. The ox is a dumb animal, can't even speak. Can't even speak, but he know his owner. Read. The ox know it's his owner. Read it out. And the ass, his master's crib. An ass is a donkey. A donkey know where he, a donkey can run so far from his house. But he still know how to get back home. Read. The ox knows his owner. And the ass, his master's crib. Bring it out. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But you black, the black man out here? You Israel. You ain't no nigga. You ain't no coon. 
do the Israelites read? But Israel doth not know. Guess what? The, the Bible said the Israelites, you don't know who you are. You don't know where you come from. We don't know who our God is. We ain't been taught. Read. My people doth not consider. So not only do you not know, God said you don't even give a damn. He said you don't even care. You don't even care to learn who you are. Go to Romans 9 and 1. You don't even care to learn that this whole Bible is for you. This whole Bible was written for you. Only you. These people on this side right here. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Why do you think when you go over there to um, Northeast Memphis, you go to Mitchell Heights, you go to North Netbush, who you see? You see the Hispanics. You see the Mexicans. And guess what they doing? They in the same conditions you in. That's right. Why? Because they your brothers. But guess what? Guess what the ignorant black man is saying? I don't like them. They right. immigrants. They was here before you. That's right. The white man is the immigrant. That's right. He took everything from us. That's what our people got to understand. We got to learn who the true enemy is. And it ain't your brother. Read. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 1. Bring it out. I say the truth in Christ. Paul, this Paul right here talking. But guess what we doing? We doing the same thing. We saying the truth in the Christ. Meaning when we speaking, we coming at this bow. That's right. We ain't like the pastor. Everything we going to say is we going to prove it with the Bible. What Paul say? I say the truth in Christ. We're going to tell you nothing but the truth. And it's going to be out the Bible. Read. I lie not. Guess what? We ain't finna lie to you out here. Like the officer said, our people been lying to my whole life. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Meaning what we say, guess what? We get, we know it's true because it's in the Bible. That Read that again. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Meaning when we say, guess what? God came for Israel. We know it's true. Why? Because the Holy Ghost, the Bible say that. It's bearing witness with us. Read. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Why do you think we out here? Because we got sorrow for our people. Because our people think they only good for basketball. Our people think they only good for football. We think we was just made to be game bangers. No, bro, you better than that. We God chosen people. We was put on this earth. God made you to be rulers on this earth. That's right. That's right. God made you to be rulers on this earth. Read. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. Because God said, look, Paul said, I know what's going to happen to my people. He said, I wish I could take the punishment for my people himself. Read. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh, read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Guess what? Now watch this. He said, who are Israelites? Not everybody. Everybody ain't your brother. That's what we got to understand. We the Israelites. Only the Israelites your brothers. Watch this. Read. Who... Uh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Guess what? Christ only died for the Israelites. Give me that in Acts 13 and 23. Christ only died for the Israelites. I bet you ain't know that. You ain't going to find that out in church. You ain't going to find out that Christ only died for the Israelites. Ain't no white man finna come and die for you. I'm sorry to kill your dreams. Ain't no white man finna come out of no sky and die for you. Ain't no white man finna take a bullet for you. Guess what? The white man, the one that's giving you the bullet, he ain't taking the bullet for you, though. Christ only died for us. That's you, that's you, that's you blacks out here. Why you think you going through it for? Because you God's children. Just like when you had kids. When your kid acting bad, what you gonna do? You gonna chance him. You ain't worried about everybody else's kids. You worry about your kids. That's right. Because that's your kids. Why you think God ain't worried about the white man? He worried about you. Because you his kids. Read. The book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 23. Bring it out. Of this man seed, God, according to his purpose, raised unto Israel a savior, Jesus. So who he raised unto Israel? A savior, Jesus. So there go your proof right there. Christ only died for the Israelites. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.